you are looking to buy, sell or swap RuneScape GP, check out RS.Gold. They give you the best rates at a very fast respawn time. Their customer service is also very friendly and is there for you 24-7. Their company also hosts RS Jackpot which is a case opening website. You can earn some fast old school RS or RuneScape tree items. Then again you can use the coupon code NOOBS for a 5% discount so definitely make sure to do that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Yo what's going on guys I'm back with another video and today I am back on my own server and as you can see I am creating a new account so what I will be doing is a road to one of the richest in game and um, I will be using my noobs alt account now as you can see I got a zarite bow I I will empty the zarite bow imbued because this was meant for people who were playing in the past and um, because there was an eco reset like a week and a half ago um, we gave everyone that already had an account file the Zarite Bow Imbued. But I emptied that and I'll be starting off with the regular starter gear as everyone gets. Um, of course I will be getting up with some regular gear as well. And then go ahead and start the grind to become one of the richest of this game. Now by doing this I also want to make it like a sort of tutorial for, for newer players um, who actually just joined but, so, but as you can see if you create a new account um, you get a starter whip and elite void or uh, regular void my bad so as you can see the starter whip is pretty nice it has some really decent stats but it only has 2000 uh, charges which means after 2000 hits it will just degrade into nothing so this <coughs> excuse me so this is the gear I will be starting out with um, to start off with, I am going to go for a PVM whip, which um, you can get from these um, boxes at Money Zone, or if you go to the PVM teleports, you can also go to the Necromancer right there. Um, what I also will be doing is go to the task tab and heal real quick, so I have 990 prayer points, but as you can see right here, I will examine them real quick, so I can get magic chest, bulwark key, uh, chests and keys, offensive crates and other genic cases, and then of course, um, I can get some really nice cash and stuff here as well. Now, these chests give multiple different loots, for example, from the magic chest you can get... Um, the imbued torf I think or that's from the bulwark chest my bad you can get a primal spear poison from these you can get a pvm whip from these and the autogenic cases are very rare but you can get one of the higher looms from these or crystal wings which are very op so that's pretty nice I'm going to camp here for quite a bit until I get some pv uh, gear upgrades and I'll be opening some boxes as well once I get that done now just to clarify, this account will be completely legit and nothing will be spent on this account, not even a donator rank or anything. Um, so if I get a donator rank, I'll buy the redeems from other players. Um, or if I do not buy the redeems for other players, I will just not have a donator rank. But besides that, all the items I will be getting will also be completely legit. Um, I might go for a dice permit, maybe go dice with some other people. We are also adding a completely scam safe risk fighting system, so I'll be using that as well to make some money. But um, right now I will just be killing a bunch of these necromancers and hope we can make some insane money pretty fast so we can upgrade our gear. Once our gear is upgraded, I want to go to blink so I can get a an even better setup for ranged as well. And once we get a really decent setup, we will go uh, end up killing some higher tier bosses and from there on we will just keep on growing, I guess. And we got our first bulwark chest. Now I'm going to do this just for a few more kills until I get like 10 bill cash. But right after that, I just want to finish the Halloween event on this account as well. Because it is some limited gear that we will be able to get from that Halloween event. Um, also, it only is 4 days remaining from this point out, so at the 14th of November the um, mini quest Halloween event will end. So um, yeah, definitely make sure if you haven't done it already to go ahead and do that right now. Because um, yeah, once it's over the gear will be discontinued and it will like get a lot of wealth increase uh, over time. Now another positive side about me doing this series is that while doing the series I will um, discover like some bugs or issues that uh, players will see but that as owner you will not see because you are not actually uh, constantly playing the game and seeing all these issues. So with this account I will be seeing these issues as well and um, that will be making the game a lot nicer because I can instantly fix them if I, in, uh, if I notice any of the issues. 
Now of course another goal for this series will eventually be the trimmed completion escape so I will also be doing a lot of skilling especially right now because it is weekend which means there are 200% uh, XP rates so I'll definitely go ahead and do some skilling later on as well. Um, to get that max cape out of the way to begin with after that I'll go grind myself the trimmed completion escape out Which will take quite a while because there are a bunch of requirements that I will have to do But eventually I'll get around to it and make sure everything is done and get that trimmed completion escape um, I want to be an end goal one of the best richest uh, and most achieved players in game I know it will take quite a while to get to that point because there are already a lot of very rich players in game Also, some people already have completion escape and stuff so um, yeah it will be quite hard to catch up to them but I will definitely go ahead and try my best to actually get there all right now another thing I did is for the people who don't know you can actually go ahead and vote and for two voting points you can get yourselves an XP lamp so these XP lamps will be used of course for training up my skills I will be starting with putting one of my lamps into um, let's have a look here what skills do I really not like um, I guess I'll start off with <coughs> my bad with putting one into agility and one into um, let me have a look here what's another skill I really do not like to start with um, I guess I will put the second one into hunter because I really don't like that skill as well but as you can see you get a bunch of experience you get like 240k experience per lamp so it's definitely worth voting um, for daily lamps because it's free experience so definitely go ahead and make sure you do that every day Alright, so I'm kind of getting bored from these necromancers, so I'll move on to blank. Just going to open these real quick, see if we can get lucky. And oh, we actually got an imbued turf of plate body from one bulwark chest. So yeah, I guess that's pretty lucky right there. That's an actual really good piece of armor. Of course, I'm still going to use the void for the hidden bonus set. If I would have more pieces of this, I would go ahead and use that. But anyways, right now I am going to go ahead and kill Blink. Now Blink has a similar drop, rate, uh, drop table to the Necromancer, but it also drops the imbued Pernix, and with that it also drops the imbued Zerite Bow, which are really good as well. Um, it also has a chance of dropping the Ring of Wealth, which will give me an increased drop rate, so give me more loot. And I'll also have a chance of getting 100 mil lottery tickets, which will um, get me some more cash. But as you can see, we also can get all these chests and um, keys right here. We can get up to two from this boss, so yeah, they are even better. Alright, well, I've decided that I should go do some Slayer because it is weekend and I got the times to experience. But I am just going to open these and uh, uh, Chaotic Staff, DHX, nothing really too good there. But let's go ahead and see what our first Slayer task is going to be. Now for the people who don't know, we also added a Slayer loot crate which will be obtained um, 1 in 500 chance of a Slayer NPC, so it's kind of random. You can also buy it in the Slayer Point store, as you can see right here for 15 Slayer Points. But let's go ahead and have a look. So please give me a task and my task is to kill cow. Now we also added the command task uh, to check how much cows you have left. Alright, so I was AFK my gargoyle task and as you can see I actually got a slate loot crate which is 1 on 500. So let's have a look what we get from it and oh, oh wow we got we got trolled 100 mil. Oh what the heck, I just got a gold monkey, I didn't even notice it but there we go, gold monkey. I am doing an abyssal demon slayer task and I got this on the 39th kill so that's actually pretty nice. What the hell, I think my RNG is insane guys. As you can see on kill count 3 from abyssal demon's eyes I got myself an... Uh, ice Virtus Mask. Um, yeah, well, the, the Ice pieces are actually 1 in 715. I got done kill count 3, so yeah, I guess I'm super lucky. I'm also very close to 99 Slayers, so I guess that will be the next clip I get. Okay, I hate to be that guy, but what the hell? Kill count 3, we get ourselves a Virtus Mask Ice. Kill count 11, we get ourselves a Pernix body eyes. What the heck is our luck, guys? And here we go. This should be the final kill to get myself 99 Slayer. Here we go. That's the first 99 we get off the list. As you can see, kill count 19 at the Abyssal Demon eyes. And we got ourselves two ice pieces, which is absolutely amazing. So that's super nice. Now, for the people who don't know, you can actually swap your ice pieces. So if you go to the shop right here, um, talking to the notice board, uh, I will get myself the legs and the helmet of the Torva and um, then I will whip out my imbued Torva helm and now I can actually upgrade my gear to this which is a lot better so that's pretty nice. What the heck? No freaking way guys, I just opened my second enchanted chest and I got a ranged 
Cyrenic body? What the hell is my RNG on this, man? Like, seriously, I had three uh, chests. I thought I wouldn't get anything, so I just opened them and get myself a ranged Cyrenic body. Holy shit, man. Alright, and after AFK for quite a bit, here we go. 99 farming. Now, what I did, uh, why I did farming first is because... Actually, from farming alone, I got up to 80 herb lord by just cleaning the herbs. So that's actually quite nice as well. So um, yeah, as you can see, I got 99 farming now and 80 herb lord as well. So um, yeah, I'm just going to train some of these other stats as well now. So I just get a bit of the nicer levels here. Okay, so we are the next day now, and as you can see, I just got 99 fishing. I didn't even notice I was that close because I was AFK. But yeah, as you can see, I got 99 fishing there, so let's move on to the next kills. Right, and here we go. After shooting for ages, we finally managed to kill the Immortal Elite. There we go, Trends Completion Escape Requirement done. And the only useful thing we got was 125 coal. But there we go, that's already one of the requirements done. Alright, here we go, 250 thorny bushes done as well, so that's another trimmed requirement done. Um, also got myself 93 thieving fro from that, so uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. And here we go, we got ourselves 99 agility. Now, while doing agility, I was uh, just walking around here, of course, and I found myself a red easter egg as well, so that's kind of lucky right there as well. But um, yeah, right now I'm just going to end off 99 woodcutting, I guess I will end off the episode right after that is done. And there we go, that's 99 wood cutting as well. So yeah, we did manage to get quite a lot of stuff done in this first episode. However, we still did not manage to get the max cape. That will be for the second episode, I guess, which will be in a week. Because I, I barely have any time to record, so I mainly record in the weekend. But as you can see, our stats are looking decent. I would say we got 1984 total levels, so that's not too bad. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.